Hey everyone, Jordan with Voight Smith Innovation. Today I want to run you through a detailed run through on our 2020 liquid de-icing units. Uh, behind me here is a 305 low profile unit in the back of a one ton pickup. Uh, one of the great things about the 305 unit is it fits in a short bed pickup with the tailgate closed. However, our plumbing configuration and overall layout of what you're seeing here is the same on all of our units from 305 gallon all the way up to 1000 and also our power bundle. Um, so first things first, one of the biggest things that differentiates a VSI unit versus all of our competitors is our two inch full port open flow plumbing. Uh, basically what that means is that this unit will perform at a lot higher speeds than our competition. Um, with the two inch plumbing, we can achieve almost 25 miles an hour with our three lane boom running covering over 30 feet wide and still achieve 80 gallons per acre on post treatment. Otherwise, if you're pre-treating, obviously uh, with pre-treating being a much lower application rate, we can go even faster. Our 2020 units come with a lot of great standard features, uh, including a magnetic flow meter, which is a very important piece of this equation because a magnetic flow meter has no moving parts and it automatically readjusts uh, based on changes in specific gravity with the liquid you're spraying. It's a very important thing that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, we use a very high quality, high pressure rated proportioning valve. That's what actually adjusts your flow rate based on your speed. Um, we use an automotive grade wiring harness, which may sound like a bunch of gibberish, but really it's very important. Uh, it's a much higher quality harness than typically small power equipment uses. It's using all Deutsch connectors, um, higher quality wiring, higher quality loom. Everything is going to be more reliable and resistant to corrosion. Um, we also have a standard battery tender built in and a large capacity 100 amp hour battery. Uh, typically units like this have maybe like a 15 amp hour battery. The problem is when you're running a lot of voltage through something like a hose reel, the battery just doesn't last very long. So we have a lot higher capacity here. The engine does have a charging system built in, but we also have this nice, like I said, automatic battery tender that when the unit is uh, not being used, it can easily be plugged in into this integrated port, standard extension cord. That'll make sure your battery fully charges is all automatic. As soon as it's charged, it stops, uh, stops charging automatically. Another great thing uh, is our work lights. Even if you don't have the hose reel, you still get the work light package. Uh, we're using IP67 rated LED strobe lights and a uh, work light. And IP67 basically means that these fixtures will handle pressure washing, um, they'll handle rain, road spray, all that kind of stuff. Whereas a lot of fixtures, LED fixtures you find are cheap, uh, not even IP65 rated. So as soon as you pressure wash them or road spray gets on them, they're probably gonna short out. Other standard features that we've always had on our spray units and continue to use include High quality banjo pumps and plumbing components. They're all full port plumbing, like I mentioned earlier. They're all flanged fittings. So if you ever have to replace a fitting, it's as simple as taking off the flange clamps, putting a new fitting in instead of unthreading everything. Uh, we're using Honda motors, obvious reliability there. We also offer an upgrade to hydraulic motors. We have fully uh, integrated fork pockets. These are a structural skid frame. Fork pockets on the front, sides, and the back. Makes it easier for loading and unloading in any situation. But then we also have our optional upgrades. So this unit's fully loaded. And when I say fully loaded, the three optional upgrades on this unit include a three lane boom, which means you can spray middle, left, right, all independently, cover uh, over 30 feet in one pass. And with that upgrade, you're, you're ending up getting three of these solenoid valves here. Uh, whereas if you just had a single lane boom, you'd only have one. And then obviously the outer tips on the boom uh, is the other part of that upgrade. The next one is a hose reel upgrade, and we've actually upgraded that hose reel upgrade without increasing the price for 2020. Um, this hose reel has guide rollers, makes it a lot nicer for going around corners. That way if you pull the hose off this way, it's not uh, running off the side of the hose reel and, and uh, getting caught up in your running gear. And then the last one, and probably uh, one of our favorites, is total control. So you'll see this little box here and these wires coming down here. Uh, what that is, is there's actuators in there that actually wirelessly control uh, your Honda engine. So now you can start, stop, choke, and throttle all from the cab of your truck. But also with total control, you can wirelessly control your lights and rewind your hose reel as well. Another great standard feature on our units is our pile driver boom system. Uh, this is the best boom system on the market, not only because it's virtually indestructible, but also because it's very easy to change between post-treat and pre-treat. Obviously when you're post-treating with liquids, you're putting down a much higher application rate and thus you need larger nozzles. When you're pre-treating, you need a lower application rate and then you use your smaller nozzles. Switching between pre-treat and post-treat is super easy. You hook up your cam lock, clamp it down, 
Now you want to switch to pre-treat, hook up your cam lock, clamp it down. And then switch your middle and your sides. It's just that easy. Our units continue to be equipped with the very underrated self-fill and pump out feature. So to use a self-fill is very simple. We use a cam lock hose like this, make our connection. Other side of the connection, go to your storage tank or whatever you're pulling from. We're gonna open this valve, isolate our tank, and then open our bypass valve. That's gonna take the liquid from the holding tank into your pump and right back into the tank. Let's say you're gonna pump out to fill a snow raider or to fill another spray unit or something like that. I'm gonna close this off, connect up here. Close our bypass because we've already filled our unit up. Open this up and now we're using our pump to pull from our unit tank into whatever we're filling. The biggest standard feature upgrade for the 2020 models is that this unit is completely wireless and app controlled. So that means a lot of different things and we'll go through each one of those. First of all, in order to install this unit, all we're gonna have to do is set it in the truck, strap it down and connect it to our app. To connect it to our app, we'll just turn on the switch Go to our spray app, it'll pull up available sprayers, anyone that has a switch turned on, click on this one here. And now because this unit has total control, let's say we wanted to go spray, our valves are already in the right configuration, we're going to go to our total control menu, we're going to choke our engine, start it, turn off our choke, we can throttle up, uh, if we wanted to turn it off, obviously we can kill it. So we'll start it back up. We can rewind our hose reel from up to 200 feet away. Uh, the total control also comes with the same remote as we used last year. So you can, if you don't want to bring your smartphone or tablet outside to rewind your hose reel, you still have the total control remote like we've had in the past. If you wanted to go to our spray menu, obviously our units are completely GPS rate controlled. So when they're sitting still, we can't use the auto mode, but we can show you at manual mode. Uh, so up here, you'll see I can toggle between auto and manual. I have it in manual, so now our boom section controls down here. I can control middle, left, right, all independently, just like our previous versions, except for now it's all in an app instead of having to have the controller wired into your cab. Uh, other cool things you can do with the wireless control system is all of our data can be cloud tracked. So if we go to our details menu, you can see, let's say I was going to spray the VSI parking lot here. I've already got VSI parking lot typed in, but I can hit start. Uh, I'll put in a different job name. I'll put in uh, the center street. Start. So now anything I spray after I hit start is gonna be tracked to that job. When the job's complete, or actually here, I'll spray a little bit to show you. We can turn on our boom. Now let's say we wanna spray some sidewalks. We'll turn on our hose reel tracking. We can spray. So now we've driven around, we've sprayed our street and our parking lot. Uh, we've used our hose reel. Go back to our tracking screen here and we can see that we started the job at 12.37 p.m. We sprayed 48 gallons. We covered 0.3 acres and the hose reel uh, applied 1.1 gallons. All of this data can then upload into this report. When the night's over, we can submit the report to whatever email address you want. And that uh, spits out all the key data, number of gallons applied, GPS waypoints, and everything else you might need for tracking and building. We hope you've enjoyed the overview of the 2020 units. Uh, we're really excited about all the improvements and changes we've made. And we will do much more in-depth videos as far as the technical use of these, and also much more in-depth video on the app, because there's obviously a lot of features we didn't have time to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please check out our website, uh, shoot us an email or give us a call. We'd be happy to talk anytime and hope you have a great day.